What's up, guys? Crazy we are here today. I'm bringing you guys a 47 and 17 gameplay on Skyjack. That feels so good to say. I'm actually making Call of Duty videos again. Um, I'm actually enjoying it too. Like that—that's the thing. Like I didn't think I would enjoy it, and I actually am. So, um, this gameplay—it's got some pretty significant things going on in it. So what you guys don't realize is in the beginning of the game, I'm using a Man of War naked. Um, and then after I get 10 kills, I switch to a, uh, what's it called? A, a Man of War with six attachments. So I was doing my gold challenges um, because I just got my 100 headshots with the Man of War. And I was like, you know what? I'll try to get a gold. So I had two classes set. And I was like, you know what? Um, I'll get it. So I, I decided I... I have a two classes on that have no perks whatsoever so the whole game I don't have any perks on and I still went 47 and 17 didn't drop any lethal streaks either um, I, I called in a couple UAVs but um, for the most part I was spawn trapping them and just raping them so yeah um, so anyway today's topic is about my first concert so you guys know or might know may not know some of the newer people may not know um, I am a really big fan of Breaking Benjamin. Um, they're my favorite band of all time. And they um, they were in Philly. So I was like, you know what, I'll get tickets. Um, after buying the tickets, I found out that one of my other favorite bands, which is probably like my third or fourth favorite band, uh, Star Set, was actually the opening act. So I, that was, that was like, I was like, oh cool, that, that's sweet. Um, because I saw on their fan page, it was like, the January 29th, they uh, will be in Philly, opening for Breaking Benjamin. And I was like, oh, sweet, I didn't even know that when I bought the tickets. So anyway, um, I text my captain from the firehouse, Austin, I'm pretty close with him. Um, him and I play Xbox together a lot, you've probably seen him in some of the Division videos. Web Slinger 12, or uh, Web Slinger 032, or something like that. That's Austin. Um, I was like, yo, you, you like Breaking Benjamin, you want to come to the concert with me? He's like, yeah, sure. So, he was supposed to go to the concert with me, and we had had it planned out for like a month. Nah, two months. I, I bought the tickets in November. Um, we had it planned out for like two months that he was going to go with me. And then that Monday, he was like, yo, I can't go. There's a family function. Later, I found out that uh, we had a member of the firehouse die, and his funeral was that night. But I didn't know him, nor... Like, and plus this was like a once in a lifetime opportunity so I was like hopefully Robbie doesn't care um, so anyway I think he I, I think he ended up going to that I don't know um, uh, it doesn't really matter for whatever reason he couldn't go um, so I'm like scrambling to find somebody to go with me because the concert's on Friday night and I'm like Jesus like I, I can't I'm not gonna find somebody to go at this point and I come to find out that my mom really likes Breaking Benjamin so you know what I was like you know what I'll offer her the ticket because I know she'll have fun. So mom, I went to the concert with my mom, and I know it sounds stupid, it sounds lame, but I did, and it was a lot of fun. Um, so anyway, I was like, "Mom, uh, where do you want to go for dinner?" She's like, uh, "Well, let's find something that's around the Fillmore, which is where the concert was." So I was like, "I have no, I don't know the city at all. Um, I basically know how to get to Pat's and Gino's and back." <laughs> yeah, I don't know the city at all. Um, so I was like, um, I'm going to look on Google Maps. I, I, I'm looking the night before, and I finally figured out we were going to go to this place called Sketchburg. Um, it was like, it was in Fishtown, and Fishtown, if you guys, you guys don't know the city, but like, Fishtown is like, hipster. Um, it's a bunch of hipsters. So, uh, the Sketchburger was a, a hipster restaurant, kind of. It was, it was a good, cool experience, though. So we walk in, we're getting ready to go, and uh, we get burgers. Their burgers are really good, by the way. So if you're ever in, in Philly and you're looking for a place to eat, that's, and you don't want cheesesteaks, you want burgers, go to Sketch Burger. It's pretty good. They have good fries, too. Um, so yeah, we ate there. Um, and then we're like five minutes. It was literally like a five-minute drive to the Fillmore, um, which was the... Th I, I don't know if I said that or not, but that was the theater or the, or the, or the concert hall or whatever you want to call it. Um, it's a brand new thing, so my mom had never heard of it, um, but anyway, so we get over there, we're like, we, we park, 
Uh, I had prepaid parking and stuff like that too, so we had a spot reserved. But we get out of the car, and a, a street vendor walks right up to us, and my mom and I are both thinking we're about to get mugged. Here, this guy's just trying to sell us a shirt, a t-shirt. So, you know, I, I, he handed the shirt to me, and then he was, like, begging my mom to buy it. So my mom bought two, one for me, one for her. Um, and, yeah, so I got I got two concert shirts. I, I got two concert shirts, and she ended up not wanting it anyway, so she just gave it to me. Um, so I got two concert shirts out of that. Um, but, yeah, anyway, we had to wait in line for about half hour, 45 minutes to get into the, the event. Um, and then we had to have our bags checked and everything, so, um, and then Star Set came on about 8.05, uh, I remember everybody was getting annoyed because they were late, um, but they came on about 8.05, they sang, uh, I think they opened with Down With The Fallen and then My Demons and they covered Space Oddity or Space Odyssey or whatever, the David, Bo David Bowie song, it was a really good cover, everybody was screaming about that, that was awesome, um, Ooh, look at this three piece right here. Look at that. One, two, three. Right there, man. Uh, anyway, um, so they covered Space Oddity. They did Down with the Fall of My Demons, Carnivore, Halo, and I think Telescope, and one more song. Um, and then, so they were on. They were playing for about 45 minutes, maybe an hour. Uh, and then we had to wait like 20, 30 minutes for Breaking Benjamin to come on. And they opened with So Cool. Now, this concert. Watching back, I still watch back videos, and I still have, because I, I took a ton of videos, I still have, like, just come, come back with the great memories of that night, um, and they opened with So Cool, which, which is one of their best songs, honestly, um, and the whole crowd was singing, um, and it was amazing, it was amazing, the whole crowd started singing, and, uh, he's, he, Ben keeps telling us all night, like, uh, Philly, we love you, um, you guys are awesome. You sound great out there and stuff like that. So it was it, it was awesome because my first concert, everybody was singing along and everything. Um, and then um, eventually they did a couple songs. My favorite song that they performed live was Ashes of Eden. The only thing about the concert that I didn't like, but I knew it ahead of time anyway, so it wasn't their fault. It was an acoustic concert. It wasn't like their actual sound, but it was still really fun. Um, so anyway, they, they, my favorite song that they performed was Ashes of Eden because it was just so heartfelt. Um, and I forget what song it was, but at, he he had our, all of us put our flashlights on our phones on, and then he said, "If you guys ever get, if you guys ever feel like you're nothing, remember you're your own little light in the world, or something like that." I'll never, something along those lines, but basically like you're you have your own light, and without you the world wouldn't shine or something. It was really inspirational. It sounds really corny, but it was. It, it really was inspirational. Um, and then he, he, like, thanked the soldiers and then sung on Moon Soldier. Um, but one of the funniest things... Okay, so, in the beginning of the concert... I know I'm out of order really bad, but sorry. Um, in the beginning of the concert, he asks us, so, would you guys rather us get drunk and have fun and mess up a little bit? Or play... We'll play Stone Sober and have a serious concert, and we're all like, "Yeah, get have fun and get drunk." So Ben's Ben's uh, sober; he doesn't drink now. Uh, he used to. <clears throat> so every time somebody else sang, they had to take a swig of I think it was Jack Daniels. They took out the whole bottle of Jack Daniels, by the way, which was an amazing feat, I think. Um, but yeah, so they were all getting drunk, having fun. It was hilarious. Um, and then Ben Ben invited Starset on stage. The lead singer Starset sang Breath with them. Um, and then Ben talked to us about how he really had to pee. Um, so he brought the mic back with him uh, when he went to pee. It was hilarious. Uh, and then the last funny thing he did was, Where's Ma? Or Where's Dad? Or, where's my brother? Where's my brother? That's what he asked. And he said, Oh, he's taking a shit? Oh, where's Mom? Oh, she's shitting too. Oh, uh, everybody shits. It's okay. Everybody shits. It was really funny. Um, but you could just tell that they were having fun. Um, and also a really cool thing that they did before this video ends is they invited Ben's doctor. Because Ben has a lot of medical issues. They invited Ben's doctor up on stage to play drums because he's a drummer. So it was a fun night. It was really one of the best nights of my life. Um, 
So, thank you guys so much for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, be down in the description below. As always, guys, I'm crazy VR. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. See ya.